Welcome to Joy in Our Town. I'm Tori Stamolis. Today, we'll take a look at two outreach centers. First up, let's head over to the Jersey Shore and take a look at a ministry who works 24-7 in serving their community. And I mean that quite literally. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Pastor Isaac Friedel with the Jersey Shore Dream Center, and we are here at the 2017 Serve 24 in Asbury Park, New Jersey. This has been an incredible day. We have had over 500 volunteers. We're gonna get ready, as you can see, to give out over a thousand backpacks. We're gonna be praying over every single backpack. And this is just a beautiful picture of the love of Jesus that we're experiencing. Churches from all over the city of Asbury Park are coming together. Different worship teams are playing uh, right behind me. Uh, pastors from other churches all spreading one message, and that is the love of Jesus. That it doesn't matter what your background is, we all need Jesus and he is what unites us. And that's what we're experiencing today. And I pray that this inspires you. Uh, about 10 years ago, I had the opportunity to go to the LA Dream Center. And at that point in my life, I was in a, a really low place. I was playing baseball at the University of Maryland and had really no relationship with the Lord whatsoever. And I had a tragic injury take place to my uh, right shoulder and uh, really just tore my dream of a baseball career completely apart. And uh, because I didn't really have a relationship with the Lord, I, I just turned to all the wrong things, turned to uh, my sinful friends, drinking, drugs, and my life was just spiraling in the wrong direction. Uh, until I, I got the opportunity uh, in 2006 to go to the LA Dream Center uh, with Pastor Matthew Barnett. And that decision changed my life forever. Uh, this one ministry that we went on called uh, Under the Bridge, where we would go to Skid Row in Los Angeles and uh, feed the, uh, the homeless and the uh, heroin addicts on Skid Row. And my life was radically changed that one day. I'll never forget it. Uh, I surrendered my will to the Lord. I laid down my dream, and I, I picked up God's dream for my life. I knew that at that point, God was going to do something very special with my life. I had no idea what it was, but I could just feel his love and his affirmation and, and his purpose in my life. And I, I'll never be the same after that day. And actually, I never was the same because of one reason. I met my wife at the L.A. Dream Center. And why don't you tell a little bit about your story? Sure. Well, I went to the Dream Center in 2004. I was in an extremely broken place in my life. My mom had just gotten out of prison, and I was abusing drugs with my father. And I wanted something different for my life. I didn't know what that looked like, but... Thank you, Jesus. I had a, a praying grandma who taught me all about the Lord. And I heard about the LA Dream Center, this place where I could go and my life could be radically restored. So I went to the LA Dream Center and God did just an amazing work in my life. He completely transformed me. And in 2006, when Pastor Isaac went to the Dream Center, we met and it was God. It was totally God. God brought us together and we ended up residing here in New Jersey. And God put it on my husband's heart to start a dream center right here in, on the Jersey Shore. And it's just been incredible the last seven years, just seeing how God can take two messy people, bring them together, transform our lives, and how he's using us and so many people. We have an amazing team to bring hope to Asbury Park. And if you can see behind us, we have Serve 24 going on right now. And it's just amazing, 24 hours of serving our community, loving on people, giving people hope, giving people Jesus, and it's just been an incredible experience. And, and today we're probably going to serve uh, between two and 3,000 members in our community in this 24-hour span, giving out gas and giving out uh, backpacks. Thanks to TBN, we gave out 1,000 backpacks. Uh, we're doing a free concert behind us, and God has just done amazing things through our Dream Center. I love Jersey Shore so much. I try not to get sick. To I try not to get sick on Sunday, so I could just just so I could come to church. I think that this is a great opportunity for the community to get together. Like it's a great way for like brother and sister to hang out, and like it's just an amazing experience to be here. And it's fun to like 
help people like get together and like meet each other and stuff. And like to be, it's like to us, it's like a family day. Heading out and serving the community together has been like amazing, especially with obviously the kids. The kids love to come out and serve with us. And I love watching them all come out, wanting t-shirts, wanting to serve the community. I mean, how much more can we learn from the kids? So uh, last year, we, we came up with the idea of Serve 24. And really, it's based off of Los Angeles has a Serve 24 outreach that they do. So we thought, well, right now in our community, there's such a need for service. And it's such a need for people to come together, especially under the body of Christ. For the world to just see that we're unified so a few of us in the office got together and we thought why don't we put together a 24 hours of serving the community in asbury park and hashtag everything is like one ap so last year we it went off without a hitch we had probably about 500 volunteers that came out we gave out about 500 backpacks which you guys helped out with and then um, this year, when Pastor Isaac said, let's do it again, maybe we'll do it for 30 hours, I laughed. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much work. But um, we have about 55 churches and nonprofits that are serving their community or the community of Asbury Park today and tomorrow. So it's like two full days of serving the community. Combined with Serve 24, the Jersey Shore Dream Center has daily outreach programs in order to make the presence of Christ known in their community. This center provides a baby pantry, impacts the lives of troubled youth, reaches the hungry with their mobile food truck, and adopts a block by serving the needs of their neighbors. Serve 24 is just one of the ways that the Jersey Shore Dream Center has touched the lives of those surrounding them. Now, let's head back to our story. Um, my life is honestly to serve the Lord and to serve others. That's my desire. That's what I do. And, you know, growing up in a poor neighborhood and things like that <clears throat> and um, things that I've gone through, I just want to be able to help someone. And I never, you know, somebody told me, you never forget where you came from. And I never forgot where I came from. And because, of <clears throat> um, you know, I was... Uh, raped as a child, you know, eight, nine years old. I was abused by my mom, locked in an attic. And, uh, you know, actually, I never even know, knew how to cope in the world. I didn't know how to, if you invited me to dinner, I wouldn't even know how to accept the dinner. I wouldn't know how to accept the gift from you because <clears throat> all I knew was abuse, rape, you know, and that's all I knew all my life. And I just, you know, one day my sister and I, we decided, well, either we're going to, <clears throat> make something out of our life or we're going to just be destruct destructive in our life. So we said, well, we're going to make something out of our life and we made a pact with each other that we're going to be somebody someday and we're going to help people. You know, so wh whatever we went through, we wanted to help people. And that's where my heart is now. My heart is to serve the poor. My heart is not just to serve the poor because I believe if you just serve the poor and you don't touch their heart, for me, it's in vain. And even with the soup kitchen we did for years, I just feel if I could just touch one person's heart, you know, and turn their life around, whether they're uh, on drugs, alcohol, or they're just homeless. You know, I've been there, and I just want to be able to touch somebody. I mean, I feel if I could touch somebody's heart, that's, and that made my day. And if you ask anybody at that soup kitchen, they had the best, because I feel whether it's I'm serving you, whether I'm serving the president or whether I'm serving the homeless person. I'm going to give them the best meal they ever had. I'm not going to give them anything less. And that's how I feel about even here today. You know, I went out of my way to make it special because I wanted them to have a special meal. Because I don't know if that child is, if this is going to be their only meal. You know, so I'm going to give them their best meal, their best dessert, their best appetizer. And, uh, you know, try to make their day. I was serving in my church up north in Morristown um, and just working and raising my kids, but I, I didn't have a real call to my life. And when I met them and I read the mission and the vision of the Dream Center, I knew that there was a spark, there was a passion that started to grow and I wanted to get involved. So I moved down to the Jersey Shore uh, nine months later and um, two months after I came down here, I lost my job. And um, it was a career job, so I was pretty devastated. And there was nothing else for me to do at the time, so I started volunteering and helping Pastor Isaac. 
So back then, the Jersey Shore Dream Center was Pastor Isaac and Diamond. There was no <laughs> somebody else in the office. So I just kind of used the skills and talents that God had given me and just started helping him. And I knew that God was calling me to just lift them up, Pastor Isaac and Diamond, and, and to make it grow as, as much as possible because there's obviously thousands of people in Asbury Park and Monmouth County that need Jesus, but also just need to have their needs met, like tangible needs like food or diapers. And um, shortly after that, I, my passion just grew. I started meeting people on the streets. I started meeting the youth. And I saw their passion for change. For They want something. They're all looking for something that is so much bigger than them. And they just don't know that it's God. So more and more, I've just been giving and giving. And then I prayed. I said, Lord, this is what I want to do with my life. I, I want to do this for the rest of my life. And... Um, just in the last year, I became director of uh, operations of the Dream Center, where God's now giving me vision and passion for what's happening right here in the Jersey Shore and for the Jersey Shore Dream Center. Um, right now, we, we're doing about 22 mobile food truck stops. That's just grown so much from the last couple years when it was seven at one point. Our baby pantry is, is we're giving out over 1,000 diapers every month. Um, events like this, these are community events. We, we have thousands that come out. And as you see today, we've had people come to Jesus. So, you know, we know it's working. We know that God works. We just have to be faithful with what we're doing. And that's where he has me. When we first started, I want this to encourage you. Uh, we didn't have anything. We didn't have any resources. We didn't have a building. We didn't have sponsors. All we had was a, was a dream. God, use us. Use us where we're at. Even though we don't have resources, we don't have money, uh, we had a dream to, to help hurting people and to find unmet needs in our city and uh, fill them with the love of Jesus. And we just started out by giving waters to people on the, on the boardwalk in Asbury Park. And it just began to grow little by little by little into now we're able to reach tens of thousands of people every single year. There's a great scripture that says, do not despise the day of small beginnings. Don't, don't underestimate the dream that God has put inside of your heart. Don't wait until you have all the answers in, in order for you to step out in faith. God could use you right where you are today. Don't wait for other people to come in your life. God will send them. If you just step out, start small, God will send the resources. He'll send the people. And I believe one day you could probably have a ministry even bigger than the one that God is using us to, uh, to reach our community here at the Jersey Shore. And we're so thankful to TBN for inspiring so many people. And uh, I pray that this story will inspire you back home to get involved in your community, to start reaching hurting people. The purpose of a church is not inside the four walls. It's to go out, to go out into the community, heal the broken hearts, feed the stomachs, reach the children, go outside of the walls, and you will be amazed at the miracles that God can do through a willing vessel. Hope this encouraged you. God bless you. And remember, the best is yet, yet to, come. to come. Amen.